Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I will explain to you all that I know about the preview server. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you would like to see more informational videos about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. So you probably heard me talk about the preview server before. Uh, I actually do a lot of my opening videos on the preview server, but what is this preview server? How do I get on there? I get a lot of questions about this topic, so I will try to answer all of them in this video. The questions I will answer today are, what is the preview server? Can I set up my own preview server? How do I get on the preview server? How do you get so many X? where X can be many things. And I will tell you some other nice to know things about the preview server. So the first question, what is the preview server? The preview server is basically a public server set up by Cryptic themselves to test upcoming patches and even new modules. This is why you will see content for new modules like mod 14 very early on this channel. I'm quite often on the previous server trying to figure out the upcoming changes and how these changes will affect us. So that is basically what the previous server is. Second question, can I set up my own previous server? To be honest, I have no idea. It might be possible somehow, but if it would be, I would strongly advise you not to do it anyway. There basically is not really a point in doing it. First of all, you won't have anyone to play with. Uh, there aren't many players on the previous server to begin with. But without any other players at all, you will not be able to do any dungeon runs. Well, maybe you can solo the um, tiny ones, but the newest ones, no way. Secondly, this new server that you somehow spawned would never get patched to the latest level so you will be playing an old game uh, very quickly and that doesn't seem very fun the previous server basically is more than enough to test anything you want there's no need to make things more complicated here so how do I get on this preview server? Well, multiple steps are required for this. First of all, you have to subscribe or register for access on the preview server. You do this on the following web page. Here you can see. Uh, it's an R Games web page. It's actually, uh, you can find this web page on the forums. Here you can see I already can select a character, but if you didn't um, register yet, you will be asked to register here on this web page. So I will copy this link in the description so you can find it. Um, you do have to log in on the ARC website for this, of course. So you're linked to your Neverwinter account. Um, after you have registered, and your request is approved you can enter the preview server you can do this in the main login screen let me demonstrate after logging in in the startup screen in the patcher i think it's called you will have a choice down here for which shard you want to log into the neverwinter shard is basically the live server this is the normal server that you can log into you also have a Neverwinter preview server. This is the one that we're talking about today. And you have an Albear server. I'm not really sure what this one is, but I think this one is even more, um, uh, this is updated even more than the preview server. So you will have daily changes on this server. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong about this one, but we're not talking about this one. So if you want to go to the preview server, you have to select this shard basically it could be that you have to patch 
for this shard they are different uh, differently patched so if you are up to date for the Neverwinter server it might be that you still have to patch the previous server so you have to wait for the version check I hope I don't have to patch now no okay and once it's ready you can just play the uh, uh, press the play button and this is how you enter the previous server once you log in for the first time, you will notice that you have no char characters on here at all. Don't be afraid, your characters on the regular server are still there. You can either create a new character on a previous server or you can also copy characters. Uh, so how do I create a new... S I think I cannot create a new character here because I have more than zero characters but uh, so you can also copy characters and this is a very important part um, copying a character can actually be done on the same website as you were where you subscribed on the previous server just like you saw a minute ago this site first you select which character on your account you want to copy and that can be anyone and then here you select the only server that you can select mimic um, after a couple of seconds, so let me demonstrate this real quick. After a couple of seconds, you will get a notification that copying the character was a success. It's typically almost instant. Note that you have to reload the character screen before you will see any new characters that you just copied. Let me show you this real quick. So right now I have uh, Mia Lee up to 65 in here and if I reload the screen by logging into a character and then logging going back to the character screen okay well so we had 65 and now we should have 66 because I just copied a character here 66 um, so the character screen does not refresh immediately. Um, this is how you get on the previous server. But how do I get so many items? This actually has to do with the last step from the previous question, copying characters. When you copy a character, you copy everything from that character with it, which is either on the character itself, like equipment, uh, all of the bag inventory, gold, AD, um, or stuff which is in the private bank. The shared bank is not copied. So if you put stuff in the private bank, like I have here for some packs, um, on the live server, and you copy that character, each time you copy that character, you will copy all of these things also. Then, on the previous server, you can move these specific items from each copied character into the shared bank, like this. It does help, by the way, to put your character that you copy close to the bank, because otherwise you have to walk all of them to the bank first, which is quite annoying. Quick tip. Note that this is only possible for, of course, unbound and account bound items. So that's why sometimes I make an opening video where I use many characters. Uh, for example, the legendary hunterings. They are character bound, the packs, so I cannot do this trick. I have to open them on many different characters. One thing that you will notice once you start copying stuff is that copying a character actually takes quite a while as you could see uh, some time ago by the way if you are at the screen and you want to copy again you have to press the back button you cannot go return to my account because you will not go to the copy screen but each time you copy a character oh you have to select the server it will take quite a while to load so if you want to copy a character a hundred times to multiply the amount of items by 100 you will be busy copying your character for quite a while instead i noticed that in chrome 
Uh, it is possible to make multiple copies very quickly in succession. This trick does not work in Firefox. Internet Explorer I did not check because it doesn't work on my PC for some reason. But what you can do is click this copy button very quickly in succession. Let me demonstrate. So right now I had 66 characters, right? Or 66, uh, number 66 of me and Lee. And every time you, it's, it's added up by one. Now I will copy this let's say three times so I click three times one two three it will also load it will say success let's press the back button and if I go back to the screen of course I have to reload this and go to the character screen again Instead of one new character, I have 67, 68, and apparently it didn't register one click. But you can basically click many times to get many new characters. Yeah, 69 didn't register. So, But you can click quite often on that button. As long as you keep clicking, the page will not go to the succe to success screen. Do know that clicking too quickly or for a too long time, too many times, will give you a page that copying failed. This doesn't mean you copied zero times, just that you were a bit excessive. Um, I use this trick for basically uh, anything. Uh, keys, lock boxes, packs, event bags. As long as stuff is not character bound, this trick is possible. So that is how I get my stuff. And so if I go to a different character, the stuff that I put in my shared bank, I can add it in here and I will have double the amount. Okay, um, so any other things on the server? Any tips and tricks? The previous server wouldn't be a decent test server if it wouldn't be a bit easier to obtain the newest items, like the prominence enchantment for example, which is pretty difficult to get on the uh, live server. You can only get shards in Castle Ravenloft and you need 10 and the coal ward to get the enchantment itself. In order to be able to do some decent testing, the Wondrous Bazaar has some extra tabs. So if you go here to Astro Diamonds, Store, you see some extra tabs that are not on the live server, like Preview Only, Preview Only Masterwork 2, Masterwork 3, and Mod 14 Rewards. You can get many different items, not everything, but many different items for one copper. Super cheap. And this is basically free. You can also get some... Uh, weapons to test damage reliably weapons that always do one damage uh, 1000 base damage uh, and a lot of the enchantments also in here are some of uh, some banes and these banes unlock um, the dungeon that belongs to some module so bane of the jungle unlocks uh, Tomb of the Nine Gods, if I'm not mistaken. Bane of the Cast unlocks Castle Ravenloft. And Bane of the Storm King, I think, unlocks Master Swaborg, uh, something like that. And you have Bane of the Far Realm, which is quite old. So if you haven't unlocked these campaigns yet, you can unlock the, them by purchasing this item, which goes into your useful items tab. Uh, it does not unlock the boons. You have to grind them yourself, but it does unlock the dungeon. You also have some masterwork stuff for, uh, and you can buy even the masterwork recipes on here and explorer cases, a lot of items in here. And this last top contains the new eclipse enchantment and prominence enchantment, and also the new weapons, which are also obtainable from Castle Ravenloft. Also, uh, in the Zen market, which is quite 
limited in here which is a disadvantage by the way you can get a couple of things for free you can expand your fashion bag slot as much as you want you can get free character loadouts you can reroll re your race and retrain as much as you want a disadvantage is that you don't have any other purchases on here so you cannot purchase bank slots shared bank slots vip which is a big big disadvantage on here because on the previous server there is no VIP and this is a big deficit actually um, I actually found a problem on the live server with the last module that I could have found also on the previous server if only I had VIP and maybe we could have prevented some issues with that bug just saying um, it's very annoying to be honest because it means you cannot teleport to any location you cannot call a bank items it just gives this error because yeah very annoying uh, so now I have to walk to doors all the time um, one last thing I want to stress once more it is possible to copy items from the live to preview as I explained before but it is not possible to copy items from preview to live so when you see me getting 10 legendaries or more I do not benefit from that in any way on the live server so it's not like I can take these uh, massive amounts of RP or legendary items and use them on the actual server and I also cannot give them away to you guys um, I can communicate to people on the live server I will not see where they are but you can see that people are online and you can talk with them actually but you cannot send stuff to them so the mail system is also separate between those two servers so that uh, wraps up the video for today uh, if you have any more questions about the previous server just leave the questions in the comments and I will try to answer as many as possible um, so yeah, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.